Hey guys, I got a nice easy one today. First question of topic five, the Shockley equation. Um, all this pretty much relies on the Mathematica file that I'll be uploading after the video because all it is is plugging in the values for variables into the equations you see here. It all is just lots of equation stuff. You don't really have to know uh, workings, but like how to get from one thing to the other. You just again like I said plug values into equations and then it solves itself pretty much um, so yeah how, how you start you've got your first question uh, voltage VT at junction with temperature being 315 Kelvin so you just plug that into there the equation used is K times T on Q with K and Q are constants so you don't have to change these at all I'll explain VT later on and after you do that shift enter and then you've got your value for VT here, 0.0271446, plug that in. And now you don't have to worry about these two lines. Uh, that won't display anything, but if you want to stop this one displaying anything, you just put a semicolon after it and that would get rid of it. So the next question two, you plug in your values here for the uh, silicon diode. Where it's 20 femto. And I'll put it here just in case you forget what the values are, so you can change this accordingly. If it was uh, picoamps, you'd put negative 12 there, or nanoamps, you'd put negative 9. So just make sure you don't make that mistake. Uh, the, co the emission coefficient, which is minus 2. The voltage, ac voltage across the diode, which is 1.3965 for me. And here where it says VT is assumed 26 uh, microvolts that never changes that's just a standard value I'm not really sure why but you know you don't have to worry about it again and then this will solve question 2 for you 0 0.00921176 you can don't have to put the whole thing you can round it but I just like putting it for the sake of it uh, now qu question 3 works a little differently oh, sorry question 4 does you don't have to worry about question 3 at the moment just change that to negative 43 and what this will end up doing I think it rounds to your saturation current uh, yep that's right so it ends up being 2 times 10 to the uh, negative 14 which is 20 times 10 to the negative 15 if you want the easiest way to write that in so you don't have to worry about screwing up the uh, amount of zeros you have you just do 2 e negative 14 and that our web tutor will evaluate that properly. Uh, this next question is a little bit of a, it's not so much a tricky one, it's just if I don't explain it, you'll have, if you're not if you're not used to Mathematica, you won't really know what to do. Uh, basically, what this line does, that it, it solves um, a particular thing, in, in, it's a pretty straightforward thing, I would get the same answer. Um, for ID if I just got rid of the solve section but I've left it in for the sake of this question the following variable here is what you want to solve it for so if you do VD there and comment out this line no really you don't have to do that you can just change it in here V little d if you want Probably makes it easier and then our ID given is 945 micro amps negative uh, uh, six and then that will evaluate our VD which is uh, 1.27809 you go to try that Did I misread that one? I am sorry, guys. Uh, I am a an idiot sometimes. Should probably double check these things. Yes, it was negative. So yeah, just make sure. Keep that in mind as well. And then there you go. I'm gonna. I'll do another one for the sake of a nice smooth run, so you don't get confused with my mistake there. And so yeah, I'll, I'll use this as an example to show you that VT never changes. 
it'll always be 26 millivolts, so don't have to worry about that. Get a nice weird number for K390, alright. Um, and then we start again. So take your 390 and plug it in here. Remember, if you're doing it again after the, uh, the try, if you're actually examining this time, be sure to get rid of that semicolon so it actually shows you what you want. And you have your answer VT right here. And then your parameters for two, mine will be 90 femtoamps, emission coefficients 1.3, VD is 960.4 milliamps. And that's assumed, yep, solve for ID, ID is this, and then change this to minus 47, and we get negative 9, so make sure we put negative this time, negative 9, you need 14, and for VD, we change, we input our value for ID here, 4.49 times 10 to the power of negative 3, and change the value that we want to find. BD equals that. Don't have to worry about this. And then voila, 100%. Yeah, nice and easy. If you, if you go through try a couple of times with this, you'll, you'll figure it out that there really isn't much to it and you'll get the swing of it and so you make sure you don't make any mistakes. Um, so yeah, that's it for this one. Good luck, everyone.